Oh, are we working? Get off your phone, Sorry. boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Boomers ruin the economy. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to our stupid reaction units. I'm opinionated and doesn't even know what generation was the boomers. You're just old. And you post on Instagram, Twitter, 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 that generation named themselves the greatest the generation. Great. <laughs> I know. I mean, I know why they did, but it's still very conceited. It's like Moses calling himself the most humble man who ever lived. <laughs> it's great. Anyways, today we're acting to a video. It's called uh, This Traditional Indian Wedding is Insanely Beautiful. So I think this video is. That's actually, what it's called? Yeah. Uh, I think this is about Indian traditional weddings. Oh, okay. Uh, which we haven't reacted to any of those. No, we haven't. Hey. But having seen them yeah. in India. Yeah. Uh, it, like. And I've heard these are multi-day events. Yeah. And it's like, this is kind of a bummer as far as I'm concerned. But like, you get married on Friday and the wedding keeps going all weekend. <laughs> are you married at the time though? Can you? Uh, yeah, you got married on Friday. So you're like... But you could be together. Oh, you can you, conjugal. Okay, cool. Yeah, but like... That's I all think that you're matters. Still, you're still around everybody. Like, everybody's still around and hanging out. And Gross. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we haven't got delved into it. I'm sure we know a lot of it just from being around it now. I've yeah. been to one India white wedding uh, before any of this. Yeah, it's yeah. a friend of ours. Uh, before we started the channel, it was she's a her parents are Punjabi. Uh, and wow, so Punjab's been in your world. Yeah. Wow, this is before Destiny. I knew about it though. Destiny, uh, and she married a, a white guy from uh, New York. Okay, uh, nice. <laughs> and so it was a white, and so I know it was it was a white India wedding. Kind of thing here here in Los Angeles about a white India wedding. I heard Billy Idol. I don't know why. But um, I, it's a funny little factoid about me. As a kid, I grew up watching. I don't know if you ever see the show Platinum Weddings. No, it's just, it was just a show about insanely expensive grandeur weddings, like lifestyle of the rich and famous yeah. kind of thing. Okay, yeah, no, I never knew about I that. Loved it. Platinum weddings. <laughs> like mostly, it's like girls planning the wedding. Right. I planned my wedding as a kid my entire childhood. <laughs> really? Yeah. You thought about your wedding as a kid? Yeah. Oh my stars, you are literally the first male <laughs> that I know of who ever did that yeah. growing up. Because that's always been something to me that's been stereotypically male-female thing for me in terms of like most of the boys oh, no. I knew. The only thing that a boy thought about when it came to the wedding was the wedding night. Oh no. And the fact that I the, was, the wedding will be the girl's thing to do. I was and, very, I, I was very involved in every aspect of the wedding. <laughs> That's amazing. Like, colors. That's like amazing. So my, you've been dreaming of yeah, every detail. My wife. That's um, awesome. One thing I specifically, she did so many great things for a wedding. Um, but I had a, I had a candy bar at my wedding because I wanted a, a bar full of candy. And then also she surprised me when we went out at, at the reception area and there was up lighting. Because I said, I want up lighting. Like up the trees and things. Yeah, yeah. like no, like in that room. So there was like colored up lighting oh, to okay. make it look all grandeur and, and cool. Right. And... So we had that. So, but every say That's everything great. about the wedding. Oh, well, I like to. <laughs> he knows it. I like to make decisions. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, now I understand. <laughs> uh, it's, no, like especially with uh, I just enjoy it. I yeah. enjoy that whole process. So every single thing from the there was stuff I didn't care about for sure. Like I I didn't care about invitations. I don't understand the point of them right. because they're. This little piece of paper, just send out an email. Right. <laughs> yeah. Certain stuff I don't care, but the pretty stuff I did. Anyway, so this video, <laughs> little factoid about me. That's great. Uh, but yes, this video right. I'm hoping is about uh, a very beautiful very wedding. beautiful wedding. Here we go. My culture is very much my family. This is Sonia. I definitely insisted that you like ask my parents for permission. And very this southern. is harsh. I just follow the instructions. <laughs> and Hinduism, some are vegetarians and some eat yeah. meat. Meat eaters. Yeah. Over the next 72 hours, they'll dance to Bollywood's greatest hits, get covered in turmeric, and ride a wild animal. I wanted an elephant. Yeah, and they're legal in New Jersey, apparently. I think it's more about... Elephants are legal in New Jersey? Everything's legal in New Jersey. 
that's a wedding is done in a way that they think like honors certain traditions. So they're in America, so they're American. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> No kissing? What? She said Even though no both kissing. their families are Hindu, Sonia and Harsh come from very different regions and cultures in India. Where? The secret trick is to where they're south in India they're from. The more traditional and some might say nerdy they are. <laughs> um, so I would say... <laughs> <laughs> he offended her! South Indians, the ceremony is the focus of the wedding. The wedding being somewhat of a oh, that's spiritual gorgeous. event. gorgeous! The surrounding events around it are quite minimal. Uh, versus... Oh, sure. My family's Punjabi, and Punjabis are really <laughs> there loud it is. and boisterous in North India. It'll be like the marriage ceremony is like going off to the side. Everybody else is like at the bar, like eating at the buffet, and like well, no one's actually are my people. watching the couple of Kent marry. <laughs> Good night. See if we can pull it off. That's the family the home. Two, uh, and try yeah, to yeah they got it, money. You know, yeah, they, they're, they're rich. A timely marriage. Dang. That's a gorgeous sorry. Today we have the Sangeet. It's basically a big carnival party festival thing. Translated from Sanskrit, Sangeet means sung together. Traditionally, this event was female only. Damn. But in modern times, both genders participate in what's become a Bollywood style talent show. This is like the reception? It has lots of dance performances. It, it's the rehearsal dinner, I guess. This really is the pre rehearsal dinner. Yeah, this is the event. pre wedding party. It's definitely a big part of Punjabi culture and North Indian culture. It's less so in South Indian culture. That being said, the South Indians definitely bring it. That's a gorgeous sorry. Mm -hmm. The morning of the wedding, the bride and the groom perform the haldi, or turmeric ceremony, in their separate home. Turmeric ceremony, is that what she said? Family yes. members anoint the bride and groom with turmeric paste. Oh, really? Turmeric is very healthy for me. This ritual purifies the bride and groom, surrounds them in blessings, and wards off the evil eye. Hmm. <laughs> has the added benefit of making your skin glow. A lot of these traditions are, are part beauty, part religious. In addition to the haldi, Milk. the bride is gifted a set of 21 red or maroon bangles for the chuda ceremony. Your mom's brother, so your uncle, helps you put the chuda on. And then all of your sisters, any particularly unmarried sisters, unmarried ladies in the home, come and tie these little <coughs> galire. Shaped like coconuts, Galita symbolizes wow. prosperity. How heavy is that? They look light. Okay. Yeah, they look light. What I will be wearing is a sherwani, which is a royal coat nice. of sorts. It's got That's a gorgeous. amount of gold nice. sparkles, and so you'll know I'm the groom. I uh, picked it. <laughs> Oh no, I picked my What's happening now is I'm uh, getting some help getting my outfit on. Uh, takes a village, as they say. Red and gold are, are very traditional, auspicious colors for an Indian wedding, and so that's kind of what I'm yep. going with. I love the henna. I'll be wearing a, yeah, a henna, I think henna tattoos which is so basically, if I had to put it in layman's terms, it's like a, a big skirt and a crop top. Oh, Mickey, I'm going to fall, sorry. <laughs> Seems like red goes my complexion better than gold. Going with red. Procession? I believe he'll come in on a horse. Yeah, at the one I went to, it's he went, came in on a Segway. <laughs> but we did the whole thing. There was a band and everything. To go from my village, uh, the house next door, <laughs> to this village yeah. to find my bride. Right here. That's what we did. So I'm going traditional. But he was on a Segway because he's white. Although many people. I wanted an elephant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything actually legal in your No, that's just a line from Hamilton. Oh, <laughs> gotcha. Yep, this is what it sounded like too when I, yep. Outside of a wedding in Calcutta, that's exactly what was going on. So you pull up and my cousins and my, my siblings yep. are sort of like, well, you know, you want to come in and take your ride, like, let's go, like, what's in it for us? There's, there's a couple of places. They, doing gift cards. they will take Amazon gift cards. <laughs> 
once he crosses the barrier and my family has decided that they have been paid enough, you can, uh, you can come. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think they did that. Maybe they did. I, I didn't. Yeah, I remember this. Outside of any wedding I've seen in India, you hear those drums. <laughs> now, it's wedding time. South Indian tradition, the bride and groom don't see each other before certain rituals are performed. Yeah. Did you not see Stephanie? Wedding, people come down the that aisle day. and it's a big not moment just she when came the, down the, aisle. the yeah. groom watches his bride come down. So we asked her, she's very fine, if they would let us see each other. We could have that visual. Yeah, I love that. Aren't you glad we're going to look at each other? Naked. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> Naked. Beautiful. Sorry. Everything she's wearing is so beautiful together. Oh. Sonia is escorted into the ceremony by her brothers underneath a jadar or sheet made from her mother's wedding sari. Oh, oh it's made from the mother's wedding sari. So it's really oh, nice mom to come in with her mom's blessings and a little bit of history. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's super cool. Bit of a tension in there. You try to kind of angle to get the garland on first, and whoever gets their garland on first is supposed to have like the power or the upper hand in the marriage. What? What? <laughs> that night. Whoever gets the first gets to be on top. What? <laughs> I'm a chump. Sonia and Harsh are now separated by the Teresala, a curtain for the remainder of the ceremony. Huh. huh. I did not the know that. The Balam is the main event at South Indian weddings. The couple takes a paste of bitter and sweet herbs and places their hands on each other's heads. The different flavors are meant to represent the joys and struggles of life. Nice. Yeah. I do pronounce you husband and wife. Why don't you... Why... Why? Well, why no kiss? The wedding is like a new start in life. It's an amazing thing to be able to like open up and be like, I'm taking on a new set of parents and I'm going to love and respect them just as much as I love and respect my own parents. Sonia and Hirsch pulled off their wedding with a fusion and a twist. She did another change. Holy and cow. The absence of a kiss. Why no kiss? That's a gorgeous. Dress. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't end there. No, 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 I don't think it does. No. Uh, I think it keeps going. Yeah, there's I'm, supposed to be more that goes on, and then what do they... I'm wondering if they, they modify, because obviously the one I went to was very modified. Right. Uh, this one was probably... And did they go off for their honeymoon that night, the one you went to? No. The, uh, I think it was a few days. Oh, okay. I think. Well, like they at least go off like most do here in American weddings? They, I think they went off, but then yeah. I think the next morning they had someone with the family. Okay, I yeah. think. More traditional. I could be wrong. Uh, but they probably, since it's an Americanized wedding, yeah. so, because uh, I'm sure, especially in India, it's, it's, if they're a very traditional family, I'm sure it goes, traditionally goes on for yeah. a long, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I also, I don't know, <clears throat> do you guys do what we do here in America for many weddings is there'll be a bridal shower and a bachelor party. Yeah. That's like a big, big deal and usually the bridal shower is a, a really wonderful sweet event with the lady showing respect for the woman and bachelor parties are nothing but licentious sin. <laughs> <laughs> licentious sin? Yes. Yeah, that's what they are historically. I actually have always detested the idea of a bachelor party the way that they're done in America. Yeah. I just, I, I, I actually find think, them repulsive. I think most of the time actually now they're not done the way. It's, mov movies have that's true. Done that. it, it, especially with the current, maybe actually with your generation, it was probably more of that, mm. um, which is why they're in the movies, because those are the people writing them. There was actually a movie called Bachelor Party Obviously with Tom the, Hanks. The current generation, I'm sure it's still done a bunch, but it's it's yeah. mostly just hanging out with your, your guy friends drinking. Yeah. That's, that's mostly what, it, that's what, that's what mine was. Yeah. Uh, so, but yeah, that's, it was beautiful. Uh, I wish we could, next time we go, 
some uh, some stupid baby will invite us to their wedding. Well, I would love to go to. And a that has baby. happened. Some of you beautiful stupid babies, like I remember when I went made my <sighs> first and second trip to Calcutta, I got messages saying, "Hey, can you come to this part of India? I want you to come to my wedding." And I. So I so badly wanted to go. It just, yeah. it wasn't feasible to do it for a million reasons. <laughs> so uh, for those of you who have extended those, uh, uh, thank you to. so, so much. And hopefully it just works out. Next I would love it if that happened every time we were there. Yeah. We go to a, a stupid baby wedding. That would be oh, an honor. It'd be so oh. fun. I would love to experience that. Yeah, that, absolutely. That whole, the whole vibe and, and, yeah. and, and the celebration of it. Yep. I mean, especially with Punjabi. Yeah, especially uh, there. <laughs> Anyways. Let us know what other videos, if they're uh, informative videos, whatever that we can react to down below.